my friend, I'm so glad you're able to join me here for day 16 of my noodle marathon. For those of you who are brand new to my channel, welcome. May is Asian Heritage Month here in Canada. I decided to celebrate Asian Heritage Month with a noodle marathon. We Asians absolutely love our noodles. We are on day 16 of this noodle-thon. Today, we're gonna to be eating the second of six ramen bowls from this ramen gift box from Japan that I picked up at TNT. Day one of this noodle marathon, we got eating on this Nagata fatty soy sauce ramen. And today, we're gonna to be eating this one right here. This, my friend, is the Sendai spicy miso ramen bowl. I hope it's not too spicy. I'm a whip, can't handle too much spice. I do need to thank my colleague Gino, and especially Gino's mom. Here in Canada, we have two official languages. The labels do need to be in English and French, but because this was like a gift box, there was, uh, there was no English label. And there was no way I could figure out what these noodles were. Definitely need to thank Gino's mom. Thank you, Gino's mom, for translating all these noodle bowls for me. I really appreciate it. This is the Sendai Spicy Miso Ramen Bowl from Japan. These are the nutrition facts here. I can't read Japanese. I'm, I'm only guessing. I think this noodle bowl is 152 grams. I'm, I'm guessing, and the K-Cal, I'm thinking means calories, is 362 calories. Now, I, I don't know what the sodium level is. I'm just gonna assume that it is really high because all these noodles, all these noodle cups, these noodle bowls uh, have all been sky high. Can't wait to get eating on this Sendai spicy ramen from Japan. Be interesting to see if there's chasu in this ramen bowl. That was so neat. Day one, there was like a little thing of chasu. It's 362 calories, and I think it's gonna take five minutes to cook. Let's take a look at this Sendai spicy miso ramen. This is package number one. This is package number two. This feels like some kind of sauce. Package number three. These are the noodles. I'm not sure what the cooking instructions are. I'm just assuming I'm putting everything in and adding water to this fill line right here. I hope that's correct, but here goes. So put this pack in. Let's put the bean sprouts in. There was a lot of liquid left. I'm not putting that in. We're gonna put in the sauce pack next. must be the miso. I'm gonna add the hot water. Oh, it smells amazing. Close this. We'll be ready to eat this Sendai spicy miso ramen from Japan in five minutes. Can't wait. I can't believe we're in the second half of this noodle marathon. We're on day 16. I have not hit the wall yet with these noodles, my friend. I, I, I'm I, enjoying this. I'm, I'm definitely not sick of noodles yet. How can anyone be sick of noodles when there's so much variety of noodles? I'll let you know by the end of this marathon if I had any favorites. Definitely a couple that will make it to the least favorite category. Before we take a look at this Sendai spicy ramen bowl from Japan, if you could click the thumbs up button below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hope that you consider hitting the subscribe button and supporting a small channel like mine. Thank you for supporting me on this noodle marathon. All right, let's take a look at the Sendai spicy miso ramen bowl from Japan. These look like beautiful noodles. Let's take a look at the soup.
let's get eating. I am starving. Oh, the soup is looking really red, as in chili red. Here goes. Itadakimasu. That is spicy, but the flavor, wow, intense. Wow, this is what you call a quality ramen bowl. Absolutely delicious. Beautiful noodles. They look like kind of like thin egg noodles. Now, I definitely have not mastered the slurp, but let's get eating. Itadakimasu. Wow. Nice chew on the noodles. This would be amazing if it if they just took the spice level down a couple of notches. But wow, there's like the nice chew of the noodles, a little bit of crunch from the bean sprouts. Deep, intense flavor of the miso. Wow, this is delicious except for the spice level. Mm. That is a good bowl of ramen. That really is a good bowl of ramen. I would give this a 8.5 out of 10. I'd give it a nine if it wasn't so spicy. This is a good bowl of ramen. Really impressed. Wow. Just a really nice, deep umami flavor from the miso. I could eat another one of these. Wow, that is delicious. The miso soup is very spicy, very spicy. The noodles weren't itself weren't too spicy. It's just when you drink this soup, it's very spicy. You feel it when you drink the soup base, not so much on the noodles. Well, my friends, that is day 16 of this Noodle-thon celebrating Asian Heritage Month here in Canada. If you like this video, if you could click the thumbs up button below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hope that you'll consider hitting the subscribe button and uh, supporting a small channel like mine and just supporting me on this Noodle Marathon. As always, take care, stay safe, stay hydrated. And meet me back here for day 17 of this Noodlethon celebrating Asian Heritage Month here in Canada.